Gridley, old chap. Calm your nerves and speak level with me. Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert? Lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. We're former soldiers fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilf guardian. He was desperate Ghost. to win his freedom, and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Eden. We couldn't believe our yeah. fortune. Sounds likely. But the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We Likely to make him talk by torturing him. Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. Oh, and I bet the inmates the at this hospital the had plenty of that. Drawing a map in the process, and we celebrated. Talked of how we would divide the treasure. And took ever greater liberties with the patient. Oh, oh! Priest looking after them what began is, to protest. What does that One mean? Of our boys split his head open. Oh God! Nice, quickly. Keep talking, and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before. When they smelled blood, well, he could not control. Oof! He set Maybe off a bunch of raving lunatics. After I don't even know how the fire broke. What, out. What like Any of the raping them? A young woman we managed and then to pull from the burning building. And then you Oh my God! She was nice, quiet, and willing. Two nights later, she slit our commander's throat. And nice. That was all we saw of her. Good for her. Map, of course. Smart girl. The war was ongoing and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then. And Rupert's had it even worse. Good. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance, it still holds us in favor. You are delusional, <sighs> sir. I wouldn't count on that. But at least pacify. We're with one heavy curse here, and it looks like we need to start by finding that Nelf Guardian's corpse. No way! There he is. Skull for a face. I wonder. They said they just fed no him an herb. Way. I guess did he die in the fire? Leave, did he die in the leave, commotion? Leave me be. It came afterwards. Away he must you. have. And I guess, yeah, I guess his face could be a skull after flesh burned off. Is he just kneeling? A wolf. Whoa. Leading wolves. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return when none remain. Till one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts, so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. So he said... If he's cruel, he'll give them what they want, right? No way! Huh, I'm thinking, so I can, I can probably go get the guys. Yeah, look, look at the objective. Lead Gridley to Rupert. Uh, and I guess, what, do I make the decision there, or do I make the decision here? Um, 
The last entry is, The lost soul desired only one thing, the death of his former oppressors. He still felt their stares upon him, and only death would bring him peace. He wanted to consume the eyes and hearts of his tormentors. Geralt returned for Gridley and took him back to the surface to Rupert. So I'm guessing I, I make the choice up here. Do I? Is it going to be linear? I think there's a choice in this quest. I'm pretty sure it's there me. is. It's creeping towards me. Hello there, Gridley. I met the Nilf Guardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. So am I going to break it down to him and explain to them what's going on, or am I just going to trick them straight in there? If I if I if I give Gridley. them up. You live. I bet what I don't fight there? the Nilfgaard. I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. I bet if I could face You're the, the Nilfgaard Get directly... Rid of it. You need to see something. Come with me. Surrender them. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with him. The ghost wants you dead. The ghost wants revenge. It brought you here to the scene of the crime. It'll lift the curse in return for you. By the gods, you'll not help him, will you? The ghost wants your hearts and your eyes. Gods, you must trick him. Surely you know a way. I could pull the hearts out of some neckers. Thing is, I'm wondering if it's worth it. Witcher, I beg you, do what you must. Go see the butcher for some pig's eyes and hearts, anything. You'll not send us to a cruel death. I'm not going to trick this ghost. I suppose there'd be some poetic justice in that. I'm not going to trick this ghost. He's going to have, like, spiritually strong emotional attachment to the body parts of these two. Give Wraith eyes... Oh, give the Wraith eyes and hearts of Neckers. So I can either do that or I can do... Pig hearts was the other one? Is there? Does it explain anything about the difference here in significance? Oh, it's already updated to the point that I've killed Neckers and I've gotten hearts and eyes. So I have the Necker organs already. Um, I wonder if it'll say anything different if I go pick up the pig organs as well. I kind of want to do that. Um, and, oh, you know what? I, I never did... Uh, I never did make it back to town for the bomb either, so so hold on, let me let me not do the Necker route. And let me uh I guess I'm just gonna try to make a beeline towards town. It should be mostly clear between here and there. And I'm probably gonna meander some because I'm not exactly sure of the path. So I will spare you some of the journey, but as I start the journey myself and uh sit down to do some potions, I realize I've got a talent to spend. I think, uh, though I said I'm not going to do swordsmanship, there are two perks over here, two talents over here I have to have. Uh, reduction to the amount of damage that backstabs do, and then enhanced distance to my dodge. These are two just general combat necessities in my mind that I'm probably going to pick up before I start any tree, and so further delay my decision on exactly where and how to specialize. Okay, let's make this journey back to town. Oh, and what is it that we have here? I was not expecting to see this, but on my way in, I found... Oh, I see that in Draga. I found... Uh, matter of fact, let me put a blade oil on real fast. That's one thing I didn't do yet. Um, I kind of want to just use a brown oil. Yeah, let's just do a bleeding. Right now I've got the resistance to bleeding and poisoning on myself. So let's just... Uh, I'm too old for this. Get a little damage over time, given that I'm going to be facing a queen here in just a second. Let's see what I can do to some wicked little Andrega underlings prior to summoning the queen. Oh, that was very risky, very risky there. Oh, straight into a big attack. I'm so ballsy. Look at how long range my dodge is, though. I can dodge right around the front of these guys now, no problem. Oh, and a matter of fact, the bleeding got him. That's awesome. I don't know if I'm alone yet. I think I am. I think I'm truly alone. Uh, right there is where he died. Okay, queen time. That is, if we don't meet a few Andregas as we pop the cocoon open, I think we will. Can I get another cocoon, though, beforehand? Maybe. Maybe the... Multiple attacks will make it only summon one. A matter of fact, I think this is going to be risky. I'm going to try something really risky. I think pulling the queen out actually makes all the other Andregas run. So we're getting ready to see then. If I. Oh man, there she is too. Oh Jesus. Let's start this with the Quinn. I want to be smart here. I want victory. I want a first round victory. 
Oh, oh, what is this? She's kind of turned around weird. Oh, she blocked it. Ooh, there's the... No, she didn't get me. There's not the Quinn. I think... I think this is like her aggro range right here. I think most creeps in this, if you run a certain distance away, they'll eventually stop chasing you. I think this may be her range. She keeps turning around. Right there. Risky. I can't believe I got the last hit off. Oh. Poison cloud behind me. Let's put down an Arden. Or an Earden, or however the hell you say the one that starts with a Y. And not follow up with it. Ooh, I did get the timing just barely. Oh, that was a little bit too much. Go ahead and Quinn back up here. That third attack, she got the block off on. Oh, can I dodge around her? Oh my god. I can dodge around her with this lengthy dodge. And I can follow her when she tries to charge me. Oh, big damage. Big damage. What you got? What you got, Indrega? I wonder if I can parry her. I guess with the Quinn on, I don't have full... Huh? I don't have full uh, vigor, so my parry's not going to be a full damage reduction. That was my Quinn. Okay, well, oh, learning my, learning my limitations here. Learning what she can and can't hit. I was pretty brazenly dodging. Oh, no. Right in front of her. That didn't lock her down. For shite. Oh. 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 There it is. Fucking hell. I think. Did I just knock a piece of armor? Oh. And she one-shots me with a charge. Of course she does. I was going to say I'll pick up about where I left off, but I think I went a little bit beyond where I left off. I'm sorry I was on a combo. I just had to plow on through. And honestly, whenever I'm not recording, it seems I got the fingertip escapes and some sick rolls to put me in position to just beat her up. God, that is such a bulbous behind. Two additional mutagens. I think that power is damage. That's good. That's a very nice mutagen to have. Uh, is that... Does that complete the Andraga contract? Is that it? Yes! Get your reward! Look at that. I cleared the Andragas. Two queens down. Andraga screwed. Let's make sure I grab all of this. Uh, come on. There's supposed to be items in each of these. There's a couple... A corpse or two over here as well. I want to make sure I get my uh, my bits and pieces here, man. I don't want to get cheated. I feel like I'm getting cheated out of some Indraga loot that's been disappearing while I fought their queen. That's no good. Okay, well, uh, back to the town is actually the way I want to go. What is this? Circle of life. Additional life. And I think I see the wall of it, so I think I'm really close. And let's hope I can work out a uh, recipe for... <laughs> That's right, traps all through here. Um, a recipe for an explosive bomb that can be used on the necker holes. Because that's what I really need. Ah, back to good old Flotsam. Let's take care of this little reward first, I think. Uh, that's not who I thought it was. That, uh... Welcome to my modest shop. I thought it was the guy that's going to give me a quest reward, but no, this is not. What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. I bet you like seeing a witcher then, don't ya? He does have a few interesting crafting diagrams. Uh, a Virga that gives me resistance to poisoning, incineration, and bleeding. At the cost of my own ability to inflict those. I think I like that though, still. Uh, and then Whirl, apparently like a less damaging oil. A 5% damage instead of... Uh, well, I guess I've got, like, 10% only against special creatures, don't I? I think I like the idea of that world. These others have some huge negative and not-so-huge positive effects. And, of course, I've dropped off some of my unneeded goods. Uh, so I guess I can say I'll be going to him. Uh, the man that I meant to approach... Let's see. He's not going to be in the inn either, is he? That wouldn't make sense. Ah, hold on. The wrong icon. This icon over here. Greetings. Uh, the back side of this building? Inside this building, I think? All right at the house yes, I think so. Louis? How are you? Uh, I'm good. And yourself? Upstairs, maybe? There is an upstairs. I don't uh, believe that's Mr. Louis. Louis Merce. This must be Louis Merce. 
Hello, sir. Why does everybody want to kill the troll? Any idea why Laredo put a price on the troll's head? Commandant Laredo has Flotsam's welfare in mind. Mm -hmm. But the troll tends to the bridge, keeps it in repair. Not likely. To start with, that's a dangerous beast. In addition, he pays no taxes on the tolls he collects. Ha 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 ha! He pays no taxes! That's why he wants to kill him. He doesn't even mind that he's collecting tolls, he just doesn't like that he's not paying taxes on the tolls. Uh, I killed the Andregas. I solved your worm problem. I They're believe worms. you, but the Commandant... Are remains proof enough? Quite. Here's your coin. Sweet! I wonder what I got. It didn't directly tell me. I wonder if I could search his little box. I got 75 experience. I'm down with that, even though that didn't budge my bar very far. Oh, it's locked and requires a key. Well, sir, I'll have to return to you after I've uh, found a way to extinguish the Neckers as well. And I guess the K-Ran. Yeah, that's me. Please uh, move the broom. Got to get out. I'm getting out of the house now. Can I just follow her right out? Nope, I gotta wait. My turn. How's it get the smith has a plethora of diagrams. Uh, some pretty mundane, some kind of amazing looking. Uh, obviously many that I can't even use though, and I don't think that they have a diagram for an additional quick use item. Like uh, a bomb that I might be able to use on the necker holes. Hmm. The Alchemist, even more interesting formulas. Wow, some really weird ones. Vitality, oof. I mean, I get one shot at anyway, right? 20 extra damage, that would really help me take a, take a fight. One that gives me armor but takes vitality, that's really weird. A lot less damage or 50% extra vitality, or I should say, and. Red Haze is a bomb that releases a cloud of psychoactive gas. God, I feel like I'm close. This has got to be the answer. There has got to be a type of bomb. I think I'm going to buy a few of these. I'm not sure which ones. But I think, ultimately, uh, I'm going to have to just keep looking. i got to find a bomb. Definitely need a bomb one way or another. I wonder if anybody in the inn... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a merchant in there. It's probably just food. Actually eat? Yeah, as you'd expect. Old cheese. All the inn is good for. Uh, well, there is a secondary merchant. What about you, sir? Geralt gives him a stern look. Yep. About the same. It's an inn's inventory for you. Welcome. Hmm. There is one, maybe? One other icon? No, he's just moving around. Okay. I think that's... Uh, why, why, why shouldn't we just go ahead and check anyway? I think that's all the merchants for the inn. I guess there are some supplies down here I could snatch. What is this? What's going on here? A competition, brother. With the port closed, we're bored off our asses. Really? Care to take part? What are the rules? Fight club? Contenders put their coin down. Winner takes all. The fighting rules. Drop your opponent and make sure he stays down. Complicated. So, are you fighting, brother? I think so, yes. I'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah. He's a fresher like you, brother. Good for starters. Put your coin down. So, what'll it be? Let's do this. Put my coin down. I'm going all the way on myself. I'm ready. Ten Gentlemen, coins is all I can bet. Let the dance begin. It's okay. Punches what do we have? What do we have? We have button sequences. Oh! The headbutt hey, finisher. It says defeat competitors zero of three. Oh, and that's it, the choke slam. That's the finishing move. That's the killing blow. Wouldn't want to get on your bad side. No, you wouldn't. Up for another, brother. Flawless victory. Yeah, yeah, let's Who's go. Next? Said zero of three, Cole so Bransel, why not? Known as Flip Ass. Strange name. Flip ass. Does everything backwards. Sleeps in daytime, drinks before he eats, and tells women to get dressed before he plows them. Flip what? Ass. Show us your orans. So what'll it be? Let's do it. Me and Flip Arse. Right. Gentlemen, 
Let the dance begin. Left hook. Watch out for the left hook. Silence you. Wow. This guy is quite a bit larger than my last opponent. I'm still going to do the same piston punch in the chesticles. Oh, no. We're flipping it up here, though. Literally. I bet Flip Arse liked that one. Left hook. Watch oh. out for the left oh. hook. Oh. Oh, yes. The counter knee tap. Hey, Jack. it. What is this? I can tell you're a serious contender. Far too good for this drunken riffraff. Believe you me, I know what I'm talking about. So, I don't know you. They call me King Ziggy because I pay like a king. If wow. you want a taste of fame and riches, look for me by the inn in the evenings. I'll take you to the right place. That was I wonder what the poetry. right place is. <laughs> Up for another, he brother. claps for me. Why not? Who's Let's see the next? third. I knew you'd end up fighting each other. Who's that? Tidy Tib. The bastard eats honey straight from the hive, drinks huh? a ball, and some say he can hang a bucket full of water from his cock. You better get a solid <laughs> coin pouch ready. Well, hopefully that oh, won't come into play. I can't tell how much of that was innuendo and how much was just serious talk. Gentlemen, get your let coin dance purse begin. ready. <laughs> oh my god. Tidy Tib, huh? Tidy Tib, not a fan of the knee. Or the piston punch for that matter. Nobody likes the piston In punch. The kidneys. Oh, yeah. Oh, I took the guy's advice. Kicked the kidneys. I feel the finisher coming on, Tidy Tib. You best be careful with yourself. The piston punch isn't going to be it. Wait till he drops his fucking gun. What will the finisher be? Oh! Mounted! And a uh, three piece combo. Wouldn't want to get on your bad side. There you go. Is that the best you've got? Congratulations! You dropped some of the toughest brawlers. Well done. At least from Flotsam. Over. Tournament's up. over. Is that it then? So much coin did I get there? I bet, what, 10, then 15, then 25? I think is how it went. So I should have earned that much, I think. Huh. Let's see, these are completed, right? What was that one? One one on one flotsam. Huh, that's kind of cheap. It ends in a kind of weird way. It's got a little bit of a saying about each of those three opponents. And uh, the last one, Tidy Tip, just said, Tidy Tip was bested. The Witcher won the end tournament. That seems that left seems hook. odd. I feel what, like it should have been. Hook. Haven't you had, had enough, brother? These fights aren't part of the tournament. We need to set the stakes. Okay, so I oh, could. What'll it be? I could fight some more. So let's not. Time. If I uh, bested the best in their tournament, did it flawlessly on the first try, then I reckon I probably don't we need to mess with them. Forgive us. I can make no sense of this relic I have been entrusted. Oh, a relic! The gods have not granted me understanding of it. Perhaps Providence grants you luck, and then I shall give you this prize. Perhaps you will make better use of it. What prize? Uh, some dice? Is he gonna give me some dice? Do I have to win off of him? I don't know if I want to do this. I am infinitely worse at this game. Let's go ahead and bet 10 orans. Opponent has raised three. Sure, I'll raise with you. I don't know what that means. Roll the dice, move your mouse to grant the dice speed and direction. Okay, yeah, okay. That's awesome. Whoa! <laughs> speed and direction off the board. Did I not get my dice because I rolled them off the board? I guess I have to re-roll, huh? I have no dice. <laughs> I don't even know that could happen. I feel like he's gonna own me here. Do I? I don't even get the dice, right? He's gonna win. Why am I? I lose. Of course I lose. I didn't have any dice. <laughs> How does, does that not make look any as sense? Though Providence has given you favors. I shall carry this. Oh no! Hold on. Hold on. I gotta win this relic off this guy. There's an item involved. It's not just some gold. Uh. I don't know why I want to go with the highest bet. He raises me eight, sure. We'll raise. I've got plenty of orange still. Um, huh? There we go. It's a safe zone. The dice are safe. I can do things with them. Okay, it's basically like a match, right? I've got two. Let's uh, let's re-roll. This is how I pick, right? Okay, I think. Those are the three I want to re-roll. Let's go up in the bet, because I've at least got a two of a kind. Although he also has that. I win! Huh. 
That is odd. Do they just re-roll once? I don't understand. I ended up with another two of a kind and he didn't. Hmm. So did I get the relic? You are lucky, traveler. But not enough. It does not look as though the huh. gods decree that you should bear up my burden. Only did I not beat him hard enough? Will fall to you. 